The Real News Network. I'm Paul Jay, and we are live on Facebook and YouTube and therealnews.com. And now joining us is Larry Wilkerson. Larry was the former chief of staff for U.S. Secretary of State Colin Powell. He's currently an adjunct professor of government at the College of William and Mary and a regular contributor to The Real News. Thanks for joining us again, Larry. Good to be here, Paul. All right, got a lot of questions here from people watching live. So here, let me try to get to another one. Here's Loudon1780 on YouTube. Uh, Colonel Wilkerson, do you see any moves to further draw Eastern European countries into the Russia-U.S. conflict, such as Moldova, and what do you expect? And do you expect sudden changes of governments there? In a certain way, I do, but I think it's probably going to happen. What we're calling in the academic community, in a democratic way, but that democracy is going to be illiberal, not liberal. That is to say, they're going to use elections more or less to bring in more or less right-wing types. We've already seen that in some of the countries. We've seen Germany's AFD, for example, increase its uh, majority or increase its uh, membership in the uh, German legislature. So I think that's the shrewd way it's going to happen. I, I, I think we're going to see, we have this because of social media and because of other means of communications now, this is, this is uh, something that probably has never happened before, not in the modern world anyway. We actually have Nazis in Europe communicating with Nazis in America. We have alt-right in Europe communicating and planning in some cases with alt-right in the United States. This is a global movement of fascist-like, Nazi-like tendencies, and Putin is gonna play that. I'm not saying he's that kind of person. He could be, I think, but there are plenty like that. Ukraine is full of them. Ukraine has got people who would love to go back and put the swastika Just back. Just had a fascist, pro, essentially pro-fascist protest or rally there of about 60,000 people a few weeks yeah. ago. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, we were, uh, at, at some time ago, our CIA was supporting some of those groups <laughs> because they opposed the Russians. But this is, a, this is a new phenomenon, I think, to have this kind of global communication and global propaganda amongst people from Charlottesville, Virginia, and people from Kiev, Ukraine. 